The Medical City Clark is here to provide healthcare needs even for non-COVID patients during the pandemic. Seated in the heart of Pampanga, the Medical City Clark is conveniently located to provide service not only in the province but to patients in the nearby regions. Very accessible to those in central and northern Luzon, TMC Clark goes beyond physical boundaries. With services that are available to everyone from all walks of life, TMC Clark pushes beyond psychosocial boundaries with the care that encapsulates a client-centered approach. TMC Clark's flagship programs in Cardiovascular Center, Kidney Health and Transplantation Center, and Center for Occupational Health continue to provide excellent care for patients seeking treatment in these specialized areas. In addition to the flagship programs, the Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Center will enrich TMC Clark's Comprehensive Cancer Program, which is the first in Central and Northern Luzon. With an excellent team of doctors and healthcare practitioners, the center will continue to provide reliable medical information that will be essential in linking together resources to give patients the best care possible. department teams work together for a synergistic effect on the patient's pathway to wellness. Specialized care with a unified goal. TMC Clark goes beyond medical boundaries by combining valuable efforts of an excellent team to impart excellent care. Embracing the belief that healthcare is a partnership, TMC Clark continues to provide hope and empowerment to patients, enabling them to actively participate in and witness their healing. Each medical team is united to provide the best medical care for each patient partner. Each medical team is united to provide the best medical care for each patient partner. From then until now, TMC Clark is raising the bar to lead the fate of patients towards recovery. At TMC Clark, we provide care beyond boundaries with our advanced technologies, effective treatment modalities, and committed medical experts and healthcare providers. The collective strength of our centers, units, and services gives better opportunities to contribute to the overall wellness of our patient partners.
understand the needs and we have services available for our patient partners. We have you in mind and at heart. We move beyond the boundaries of healthcare for you. Providing competence, compassion, and the best care within your reach. Rising above the standard of healthcare. This is the Medical City Clark.
Share the share more with your friends. Share it up, share it up. Let's make vaccination right. Swipe up, swipe up. Out of trending content. Bag it up, bag it up. So stay informed. Believe. Roll up your sleeve. Ikala ang pagba vaccine. You've got the key. Yo, welcome back, everybody. Let's start from the top. Ano pa bang di mo na pupulot galing TikTok? Mapa recipes, life hacks, the dance sensation. Pero may alam ka ba tong pul sa vaccination? Dahil ko lang ang pagkugas ng kamay. Pagtulog ng maaga o pagkain ng gulay. Di sa patang healthy lifestyle. Hashtag woke up like this. Hashtag vaccinated. Dapat papakuna ka na sis. Di na pwede these days ang mag-ingat lang. Kailangan may matinding rest pa para may laban. Think basketball. Post up. Go for the three. Your body needs that defense. So get that beat. It's for vaccination, homebody Di mo ba alam, nakakatulong ang turok Sa pagiging sakalang Parang army ng katawan Kontra sa sakit Pag in your area Siya, takot ng lumapit Kina mama, papa, lolo at lola O kalaro mo ng video games Hanggang umaga sa mga jowa Hubby, opa, crushy Swipe right sa mga single dyan If you're lucky Ang chismos ang kapitbahay At ang sobrang chill na tambay Natutulungan ng vaccine Kaya sige lang sa buhay Kaya if you trust the brain Trust the science too Maraming sources online Kung kailangan mo ng proof That vaccines help save lives Tumaan na yan sa test So wag mag-alan na Push mo yan mom Manifest Ask your doctor And give yourself the chance you deserve To reach your dreams of vaccines Go on and put out the word Updated just as trend What's up, what's up Share the share more with your friends Yo, welcome back, everybody. Let's start from the top. Ano pa bang di mo na pupulot galing TikTok? Mapa recipes, life hacks, the dance sensation. Pero may alam ka ba tong pul sa vaccination? Dahil ko lang ang pagkugas ng kamay, pagtulog ng maaga o pagkain ng gulay. Di sa patang healthy lifestyle. Hashtag woke up like this. Hashtag vaccinated. Dapat papakuna ka na sis. Di na pwede these days ang magingat lang. Kailangan may matinding rest pa para may laban. Post up, go for the three Your body needs that defense So get that B It's for vaccination, homebody Di mo ba alam, nakakatulong ang turok Sa pagiging sakalang Parang army ng katawan Kontra sa sakit Pag in your area Siya, takot ng lumapit Kina mama, papa, lolo at lola O kalaro mo ng video games Hanggang umaga sa mga jowa Hubby, opa, crushy Swipe right sa mga single dyan If you're lucky Ang chismos ang kapitbahay At ang sobrang chill na tambay Natutulungan ng vaccine Kaya sige lang sa buhay Kaya if you trust the process Trust the science too Maraming sources online Kung kailangan mo ng proof That vaccines help save lives Tumaan na yan sa test So wag mag-alan na Push mo yan, mom Manifest Ask your doctor Then give yourself the chance you deserve To reach your dreams of vaccines Go on and put out the word
Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. It's an honor to welcome you to our webinar entitled Usapang Baka Sakali, Mapping Immunization What Ifs Among Adults and in the Workplace. So let me acknowledge the presence of our participants all the way from Angeles City, Pampanga, Mabalakat, Pampanga, Magalang, Pampanga, Bacolor, Pampanga, Dagupan, Pangasinan, San Miguel Tarlac, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, Taguig City, Malate, Manila, and Abukay, Bataan. We also have some audience watching via live stream on our Facebook page. Good morning, guys. All right, just a few reminders to everyone for our video conference before we proceed with our program. So any information shared during the live stream will be viewable by other people and participants. We discourage participants from sharing their personal identifiable information such as phone name, location, or any sensitive personal information. The Medical City Clerk, their affiliates, partners and representative, officers and employees, and the professionals involved in the webinar shall, shall not be liable for any unauthorized or malicious use by other people of the information you provide or your reliance on any information provided during the live stream. The Medical City Clerk will not retain any personal information other than the purpose of facilitating this live stream and ensuring compliance to these guidelines. So for the house rules, for the smooth and enjoyable webinar, let me present to you the house rules. So for rule number one, please turn on your microphone at all times, except during the question and answer session. You may or may not show yourself during the session. It's completely up to you guys, but don't be shy. Everyone is welcome here. Be comfortable and rest assured that all your concerns and inquiries about the questions will be entertained during the question and answer. So for rule number two, questions and clarifications will be entertained after the talk. Although you may type in your question ahead of time, we'll answer them in the question and answer portion after the talk. During the question and answer, you may turn on your microphone or you may use the chat box. The moderator, that's me, or the speaker will mention you before or as we answer your question. For rule number three, Read everyone how you would like to be treated. Hate speech, bullying is not allowed. So if you agree, guys, type agree in the chat box. Hi, guys. If you agree, type the word agree in the chat box. All right, I can see people who's responding. Good morning to you guys. All right, for the last rule, the most important rule, have fun and always keep an open mind. Today, we will choose to be happy, we choose to be kind, and we choose to be ourselves. All right, that will be all. And thank you for all your co cooperation. So, once again, welcome to our Usapang Bakasakali webinar to formally open our program, our event. Let me introduce myself. I am Sarah Marenia Pendo from the Medical City Clark, your host for today. Good morning, guys. So we know how excited you are to share your what-ifs, your questions, your questions with regards to the vaccination. So if you're excited, guys, type excited in the chat box. All right, if you're excited, guys, type excited in the chat box. All right, don't worry, guys. We are here to tackle all your questions, all your doubts for the regarding the vaccination. So okay, now, before we go to our talk proper, 
we want to hear from you guys. What are your personal what ifs regarding the new mucopa and flu vaccination? All right, let let us share in the chat box what are your what ifs and all your questions. Can we share in the chat box? So while you're typing with all your questions, let me share to you my personal what ifs with regards to the vaccination. So I have here the what if. What if I just got the COVID-19 booster shot? Should I wait for like days, weeks, or months before having the new mucopal or flu vaccine? All right, that's my what if. How about you guys? Can we type in your what ifs? All right. So I have here from Miss Anne Biada Biago. What if I have allergies? All right. That's a good question. And from Dr. Walter Castellejos. What if 14 days before or after last vaccination? Is it an answer, Doc? I Share your what if, guys. All right, we have here some what if in our Facebook page. What if it can be a Ford? All right. From Miss Athea Olmo, what if I got vaccinated as a kid? And from Mr. Jovi Banaag, what if I'll get sick after vaccinated? All right, from ONG Leather, what if I am pregnant? All right, any other what ifs? Thank you all, thank you all for your responses. I appreciate you all guys. All right, from Dr. Walter Castellanos, what if vaccine will no longer be free? How much? All right, later on, we will discuss all your what ifs. All right, I think we're good. If you're excited again, type excited in our chat box. Come on guys, type excited. All right. We have another what if. What if I am a confirmed case from Miss Roja SNG? All right, you're all excited. Thank you all. <laughs> so to formally introduce our speaker for today, he is the medical director of LDR Medics Incorporated and a fellow of Philippine College of Occupational Medicine, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome to our virtual stage, Dr. Lemuel de los Reyes. Let us give Doc a round of virtual applause. Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. This is Dr. Lem. And this morning, I was asked to talk to you about pneumococcal disease and pneumococcal vaccines. So. The way we will go about with the lecture is this. Uh, hold on. So just some disclaimers. And we will talk about a bit about the importance of vaccination first. And then we go to pneumococcal disease and the protection against it. So let's talk about vaccines in general. What you're seeing here on the screen is a list of different vaccines available for us. I am sure Marami sa atin nakatanggap na one, two, or three of these vaccines or maybe more when you were young, especially. No? But of course, we know that vaccination is not limited to children. Diba? We have adult vaccination also. So there are a lot of vaccines available for us. Well, perhaps one important question here is, may natanggap na ba kayo? Have you received the ones that you need now or you will be needing in the future? All right. Now, it so happened that we have a pandemic. We had it since 2019, officially 2020 in the Philippines. So it's more than two years. And somehow the pandemic has affected 
the vaccination in our country and in the world. So let's also talk about that. Now, before the pandemic and vaccines, let's first talk about why vaccines are important. And let's do that by reading some of the statements from our health organizations. This one is from Gavi or the Global Alliance for Vaccination. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to spread and researchers and scientists across the globe work tirelessly to develop a vaccine, we are reminded now more than ever of the immeasurable value of vaccines. What does this mean to us? Well, it simply means that we had the pandemic for a long time, diba? Right? A lot of people died, a lot of people got sick, got hospitalized. We lost a lot of loved ones, a lot of things, no? even yung cost, diba? Right? It's The cost was great for the pandemic. But then we are seeing an easing up of cases, improvement in management of the disease. And a lot of that, of that came from nothing else but vaccines. And I hope lahat tayo vaccinated na against COVID-19. So we have seen the end of the pandemic, so to speak. And majority of that is because of vaccines. So that's how important vaccines are. Vaccines save lives. They are the bedrock of primary health care and one of the most important tools we have at our disposal to protect the health and well-being of children and adults everywhere. Primary health care is the first line of defense you know, when it comes to medicine, when it comes to us taking care of our health. So when you get sick, you go to your doctor or to a clinic, that's primary health care. When you're not sick, you, you just want to see what's how's your health, that's also primary health care. You don't want to get sick, you do something, that's primary health care. And one of the bedrock or the bedrock of primary health care is vaccination. Kasi ano ba ginagawa ng vaccines? When you get vaccinated, you don't get sick. So you don't need treatment. So that's very important no? pag inaalagaan natin ang ating kalusugan. When people are vaccinated, they have a better chance of leading healthy, productive lives and fighting off new infections thanks to improved immunity. When people are, doon muna tayo sa baliktad, no? when people are sickly, lagi nagkakasakit, especially during childhood, the growth and development is not so good. Even the brain is affected, di ba? Yung brain development. And so when children grow up, they may do poorly in school. And when they become adults, they may poor, do poorly in their jobs. And if the country is filled with citizens like that, the country might not do good as well, di ba? Pero in contrast, kung healthy ang, ang ating mga mamamayan, especially during childhood, then we develop well, we do good in school, and we will more likely or most likely do good in our jobs and the country will progress, di ba? So that's looking at it in a bigger picture. Now, I mentioned kanina that the pandemic ha- uh, affected the way we vaccinate. So ano nga ba ang epekto ng pandemia sa ating pagbabakuna? Well, of course, we all know that vaccination services were disrupted, right? People cannot go out. There were lockdowns, clinics were closed. And people were afraid that when they go out or go to a clinic or hospital, they might get exposed to COVID-19. And they don't really know, kailangan ko magpabakuna, may pandemia ngayon eh. Diba? And even healthcare workers, doctors, our nurses, they were not available. Uh, again, I said clinics were closed. A lot of doctors, healthcare workers working for COVID services. Diba? So we really had a challenge on how we will be vaccinated during the height of the pandemic. And we are reminded by the WHO that we need to sustain the delivery of routine immunization. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo hihinto. Well, there are many reasons. And one of them, kung hindi ka magpapabakuna ngayon as against a certain disease, and a lot of us don't get vaccinated, let's say for measles, then we are actually creating a possible outbreak in the future. Kasi outbreaks happen because a lot of people are susceptible or hindi protectado. It happened before, di ba? Back in, if I remember it like 2018 or 2019, when we had the measles outbreak because mothers don't want their children getting vaccinated. Di ba? I hope you remember that. And we want to not get sick because we don't want to spend healthcare resources. 
imagine we during the pandemic we ran out of paracetamol we ran out of oxygen especially hospital beds diba so if we get sick we spend all these things diba and we want to delegate this to the pandemic to those who have covid and because we actually have really shortage of it and we don't want to cause outbreaks um right as early as now I'll tell you that any illness that has respiratory symptoms will be treated as a covid suspect so you will all you'll always be isolated quarantine will be happening if people get sick even if they get sick of something else not covid diba as long as the symptoms are covid like okay so again we want to sustain vaccination we want to sustain the protection that we can get and now we will talk about pneumococcal disease one disease that is vaccine preventable you might be wondering we are using the term pneumococcal when most people are more familiar with the term pneumonia 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 vaccine diba now we're you saying pneumococcal disease pneumococcal vaccine it's all about the cause of the disease and that cause is a bacterium or bacteria to many called streptococcus pneumoniae ang streptococcus pneumoniae is the most common bacterial cause of community acquired pneumonia and as you can see in this slide it's number one. however when you get infected with streptococcus pneumoniae ya pwede ka magka pneumonia pero may iba pang sakit na pwede mangyari sa iyo other diseases like the ones listed here so you can get pneumonia i mentioned that you can get meningitis sinusitis bacteremia the infection spreads in your blood and then middle ear, middle ear infections in tagalog we call it luga very common in children so all these diseases can be caused by streptococcus pneumoniae but if we look at it on the other side of the perspective say you are protected against streptococcus pneumoniae because you are vaccinated your protection is not only good for pneumonia you're also protected against the other diseases here which is which can be caused by streptococcus pneumoniae so pati luga you know, meningitis etc so your protection now becomes multifunctional madami kang benefits all right now let's talk about pneumonia since it's one of the most common and let's talk about how common it is ano ba karami nagkakaroon ng pneumonia and of course gaano ba kalaki ang chance na magkaroon ako nito this is a list of the top 10 leading causes of death in the philippines this is from the philippine health statistics and as you can see the most common is on top it's heart disease second one is neoplasms or cancer cerebrovascular disease number three stroke no? uh, aneurysms pneumonia is number four and when something is number four or top 10 we know that's it's very common right now aside from it being common i also want you to remember or be reminded that there is a connection between these diseases or each of these diseases what i mean is one can complicate the other for example you have a cancer you'll have to go through chemotherapy and when going through chemotherapy your immune system will get weak when your immune system will be weak you will be prone to infections ano kaya ang isa sa mga infection pwedeng pumasok sa iyo pneumonia right and then if you have diabetes you are immune compromised as well you can get pneumonia and when you get infected or you get pneumonia you your blood sugar will surely rise up right so it gets it gets complicated if you have any one of these diseases and then you get another one so my point is if you are protected against one of these diseases then you minimize the complications kasi kung nag chemotherapy ka and but you have the vaccine then you are safe from getting infected or having pneumonia same with the other diseases listed here uh, unfortunately there are only a few diseases here na may bakuna one of them is pneumonia right we have a vaccine for cervical cancer for against hepa b which can cause liver cancer and then against tb but that is only for the children no and does not really prevent tb but prevents extra pulmonary tb nevertheless point is not of this not not all of these diseases have vaccines and if you get a vaccine against one disease again the protection becomes many or multifunctional as i have mentioned a while ago and again let's go back to the main point pneumonia is that common let's look at field health data 
according to PhilHealth, 2018, of all the illnesses na mayroong reimbursements, pneumonia ang number one, community-acquired pneumonia at 10.9 billion. It's the same with the next year, 2019, number one, pneumonia, 10.6. 2020, 1.2 billion, number one pa rin ang pneumonia. What does that tell us? Pneumonia is that common. It's really very common. And therefore, the chance of anyone acquiring pneumonia or magkakaroon ng pneumonia is very high. And again, let's look at the other perspective. If you are protected against pneumonia or if you want protection against a certain disease, gusto mo unahin yung pinaka-common or yung malamang mangyayari sa'yo. And when you talk about protection, you always talk about vaccines. Diba? Now, when you have pneumonia, it's an infection of the lungs which, or an inflammation of the lungs which is more most commonly caused by infection. So kung lungs ang may problema, most probably the symptoms would be any one of the following cough, fever, chills, shortness of breath. Probably you lose appetite, you'll get weak, you'll need to take rest. Diba? And you cannot really tell if it's pneumonia if you develop any of these symptoms because they are not only specific for pneumonia. They can also manifest when you have influenza or when you have COVID. So I mentioned a while ago that when you have these kinds of symptoms, you will be treated as a COVID suspect. So the point here is that if you develop pneumonia or say influenza or sore throat, you will always have to take COVID precautions. So you'll have to go into isolation seven days or so. You'll have to see if other people were uh, exposed to you. Like uh, quarantine might happen. Now, the point is the, the repercussions of getting sick of diseases like pneumonia in this time of the pandemic is same as having COVID, even if your COVID test is negative. So you don't want to get sick of these kinds of diseases, right? Now, Many people who get sick of pneumonia will be sent home, will be given antibiotics, and will be cured after a week or so. But some might get hospitalized, might be put into the ICU, some may have complications, some may not survive. We know that. And this is a list of people who are at a greater risk of one, acquiring pneumonia, and two, and when they have it, might get the complications. So let's enumerate. Let's look at the different ages of people first. So I'm not sure if you can read the numbers here below, but these are different ages from less than one to more than 60. And the bars that you see represent the number of people getting sick or the risk of people acquiring pneumonia. And as you can see, the bars are high sa mga tao na bata pa and then yung mga elderly. So the highest risk when it comes to ages sa edad is the small ones, the babies, and then our elderly. So they're the, the people who are priority when it comes to protection. Now, the question is actually on the ones in the middle. Because I'm guessing most probably most of you here are in the 20s, in the 30s, a little bit in the 40s maybe. And you might be thinking, ah, I'm in my 20s or 30s. The bars are low there. I'm not high risk. I don't need protection. So people will think that way. But I always remind people that, one, when you get yourself protected now, your protection will last until you get older. But more important than that, pneumonia can still happen. And most important of all, siguro, when we get sick, we can spread the disease. And we don't want that. When we are protected, we don't get sick. We don't spread the disease. So we are reminded to think not only of ourselves, but also of other people na pwedeng mahawa pag tayo nagkasakit. So when you protect yourself, you protect other people, especially your loved ones. Now, ito na yung mga high risk. So we mentioned young children, babies, elderly, those who drink alcohol too much, those who smoke, those who are... Uh, well, this is just the same, no? Yung column to your left, ito yung edad. Column to your right, ito yung, rate, yung risk, yung mortality rate. So as you can see, the older a person gets, the higher the risk. 
becomes for pneumonia or dying because of pneumonia. And then people who have comorbidities, so kung may sakit ka sa puso, sa lungs, sa liver, name it, then the risk is higher. When you have an, a weak immune system, immune compromised, including people with diabetes, of course, people with HIV or going through chemotherapy or taking steroids, they are all immune compromised and therefore the risk is high. So itong mga tao na ito, sila yung at the top priority pagdating sa protection. Mas kailangan nila. Okay. Now, let's talk about protection. And I mentioned, when we talk about protection, we always talk about vaccines. And let me remind you na when you get vaccinated, when you get protected, you protect yourself and you also protect other people. So again, let's always think of other people. Okay. Now, there are two types of vaccines for pneumonia. One is a polysaccharide vaccine. The other one is a conjugate vaccine. Okay. Um, a lot of people are asking me, Doc, there are two types of pneumonia vaccine. Alin ba dyan ang mas magaling? Alin ba dyan ang kailangan ko? Alin ba dyan ang lifetime? Yan ang isa sa mga pinakakomo na question. And let's look at the guidelines set to us by the Philippine Society for Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. Paano ba tayo magpapabakuna against that disease we call pneumonia? And this is a shortcut of that. It, the pneumococcal vaccination is here in the middle. It says here, one dose conjugate, then one dose polysaccharide. Let me explain that later you know, in, in the coming slides. So let me answer the question first. Ano ba ang magaling? Ano ba ang pipiliin ko dyan sa dalawa? The answer is, hindi ka pipili. Because the recommendation is, sana makuha mo pareho or ma-receive mo pareho. Both are recommended for pneumonia, for complicated pneumonia, and for preventing death caused by pneumonia. And the best protection you will get if, is if you receive both, and preferably in the sequence or schedule recommended. So ano yun? Paano natin pagpapabakuna? Ano yung sequence? Ano yung schedule? First, you have to know ano ba ang history na mo sa pagpapabakuna against pneumococcal disease or pneumonia. So ano ang vaccination history mo. In other words, may natanggap ka na bang vaccine against pneumonia in the past? Kung ang sagot ay wala pa, hindi ka pa nababakunahan kahit isa, then the recommendation is you receive one dose of PCV13, that's the conjugate vaccine. And after one year, you receive another one dose of polysaccharide vaccine or PPSV23. After ma receive mo one each in this sequence and interval, no revaccination with either is needed. So hindi mo na kailangan magpabakuna ulit or some would call it magpa-booster. Okay? So tig isa lang in this order. However, some people naka-receive na sila ng PPSV23 before bago pa sila nakatanggap ng PCV13. So if that is your case and you receive your PPSV23 before you turned 50, what you need to do is you receive one dose of PCV13 and then if you're over 50, after one year, PPV23 ulit. And then that's it. Di mo na uulitin. If you received your PPSV23, nauna siya sa PCV13, pero 50 years old ka na, then all you have to do is receive PCV13. Hindi na kailangan ulitin yung PPV23. And then that's it. Di mo na rin kailangan magpo-booster. There's a fourth recommendation wherein a person above 50 can receive PPV23 and after five years, another PPV23. And then that's it. No more revaccination or booster after. But this fourth recommendation, as noted by the peace need, is a weak recommendation. So yung first three, wherein you receive both PCV13 and PPV23 are strong recommendations. All right? So now, <clears throat> we want to follow the recommended schedule because this gets or gives us the better immune response. Mas maganda ang protection natin. Now, ano ang mangyayari pag nagpabakuna ka? Okay, or in other words, ano ang mga adverse events or adverse effects na pwede mangyayari? The most common one that we encounter is redness, swelling, or soreness in the injection site. Most will recognize the term nangangalay. Diba? 
So that's very common. So I advise people just to cold compress or take pain relievers if needed, or just leave it be. Or if you really cannot tolerate the discomfort, then you, you have to consult. Fever and allergies can always happen with any vaccination, but with pneumococcal vaccines, they're very rare. And if they happen, you can take paracetamol, allergies, you can take anti-allergies, and best if you consult your doctor. Okay. Now, may, bago ako magpabakuna, may mga conditions or may mga scenarios na kailangan ko sagutin, pwede ba ito? Pwede ba itong makatanggap ng bakuna? One is allergy. May allergy ako sa pagkain or sa gamot or sa ibang bakuna. Pwede ba akong magtumanggap ng pneumococcal vaccine? The answer is yes. Okay? I have illness today. I have, I'm sick today. Well, technically, without the pandemic, if it's mild illness, ubusipon, sinat, you can receive the pneumococcal vaccine. But since we have COVID-19 pandemic, when you have symptoms, you have to go into isolation. So you cannot get out of the house and therefore cannot be vaccinated. If you are breastfeeding, you can receive pneumococcal vaccine. However, if you are pregnant, you cannot. Hindi pwede. Okay. If you're receiving other vaccines, they can be given the same time as pneumococcal vaccines. Pwede yung flu, pwede hepatitis B, cervical cancer vaccine, name it. Except, first, PPSV23 and PCV13, the two types of pneumococcal vaccines, cannot be given at the same time. They have to be given one year apart. Second, if you receive the COVID-19 vaccine, then you'll have to wait 14 days according to the OH, may interval. Okay? And there's a meningococcal vaccine that you have to receive one month apart with pneumococcal vaccine. You have to ask your doctor about these three vaccines when receiving pneumococcal vaccines. But all other vaccines can be given at the same time or any other time before or after pneumococcal vaccination. All right. Now, I have come to the last slide, and this is the summary slide. So, ano bang natutunan natin ngayong umaga? First, we learned that pneumococcal disease is a very common disease. Marami pong nagkatasakit, marami nagkakalimaw niya. And therefore, the risk is there for everyone, including you and me. No? Whether you're healthy, but most especially, if you have comorbidities, may sakit ka na. However, prevention is fairly easy kasi meron tayong bakuna para sa sakit na ito. And I hope you learn by this lecture how important it is to be protected against diseases like pneumococcal disease. All right? So thank you very much for listening. I'll end the lecture here. If um, I'll bring back, uh, bring back the screen to you, ma'am. Thank you and good morning. All right. Thank you so much, Doc Lemuel, for that very insightful discussion. Sorry, I think I lost my screen. All right. So to wrap up the discussion of Dr. Lemuel, uh, we've learned so much why vaccines are important, what are the effects of vaccines to our vaccination during pandemic, and what is pneumococcal disease. And we are aware now that pneumococcal is the number one medical claims in our field health. So if you guys are in doubt of getting a uh, pneumococcal shot, I think it's time for you to rethink. And the pneumococcal vaccines re recommendations, just, just as pneumococcal timing. And we've learned the PHPV, which is pneumonia, is a big burden. Healthy, susceptible individuals are at risk. Pneumococcal disease are preventable and vaccines are the key to fight pneumococcal disease. So it's it's not just once that Dr. Lemuel mentioned that when you protect yourselves, you protect other people. All right. So before we proceed to our question and answer portion, we prepared a game. So this is what you call, have you vaccinated the word? 
Are you excited with the game? So type game in the chat box. If you want to proceed with our game, type game in the chat box. All right. So for the game mechanics, you will find eight diseases that have vaccines in the word jumble and type them on the chat box. So the first three participants who got the most correct answer will win a special prize care of the medical city clerk. So are you all excited? All right, game from Dila Lawrence, from Kyle Bernardo, and from Thea Olmo. All right. At the count of five, we will begin the game in five, four, three, two, and one. Let the game begin. All right, some words are written backwards. Trick, plant, and across. So just type your answers in the chat box. All right, I can see some participants typing the right answers. All right, go so guys. All right, there is your use. Okay, you can send it one by one so that we can read your answers. One answer at a time, please. All right, everyone is participating. Thank you, guys. All right, we have a minute left for our game. Type in all your questions, guys. That was a very insightful discussion. I think a song What X has been answered. All right, we have 45 seconds left. All right, are you excited for our winners? We have 35 seconds left. We have a very active participants. I appreciate you all guys. All right, in 10 seconds, the game. We'll end nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Thank you guys for participating. That was an insightful and fun game. The words that you should that you should have got are smallpox, polio, measles, tetanus. Hepa B, chicken pox, mumps, and flu. All right. Can you believe that we are all being protected with all these diseases just by getting vaccination? All right. Speaking of vaccine, the Metro City Clark offers flu and pneumococcal vaccines available at our one stop shop. Message MedC or visit the Medical City Clark for more inquiries and appointments. Again, thank you all for participating to our game. We will announce the three winners later on and how you will play your prizes. All right.
And now, before we proceed to our question and answer, let us take a group picture. All right? Are you ready for a group picture, guys? Please turn on your camera so that we can see you. All right, turn on your cameras for a group picture. Are you ready guys for a group picture? Type ready in the chat box. If your camera is already open, type ready. All right, open your cameras. All right. Some of the participants are ready. I can see. Ah, oh, beautiful people. All right. Good morning, everyone. Don't be shy. Show your beautiful faces. Good morning, Paul. All right. Good morning, everyone. How have you been? It's hump day. It's Wednesday. All right, on the count of five. All right, let me count. Five. One, two, three, na lang. One, two, and three, smile. All right, we got it. Another one. One, two, and three. I think we got it. Thank you so much, beautiful people. Nice seeing you all today. And now we've reached the question and answer portion. If you have any question for Dr. Limwell, you can send your questions privately to me. Or if you would like to directly ask, please click the raise hand button so that we can acknowledge you immediately. All right, if you have any questions, don't be shy, kindly chat them in our chat box, right? All right, while typing in your questions, let us proceed to the vortex earlier. So from, from Thea Alma, Doc, I have here her question. What if I got vaccinated for pneumonia as a kid? Need ko pa po ba ng another shot now that I'm an adult? Um, if you are sure that you have complete pneumococcal vaccination as a as a child as a kid, you don't have to. Re I'm sorry, you don't have to repeat vaccination in adulthood. So, kung ulitin ko lang, kung kompleto ka na ng bata ka pa, you have the records, then you don't need to get vaccinated again pag adult ka na. Alright. Thank you, Doc. And from Anne Diado, I think Dr. Lim will discuss it, but I will just um, repeat, what if I have allergies po? Is there another option to protect myself from pneumococcal vaccine? If you have allergies, you can actually receive the vaccine. So, walang problema yung may allergy. Uh, the only allergy is na contraindicated is kung may allergy ka dun sa vaccine mismo. So, allergies to food, other vaccines, or medications, it's okay. You can receive the vaccine. Alright. Thank you, Doc. And from Jack Bakani. Most of us po sa office usually decides collectively. Kapag po ayaw ng marami mag-vaccine, ayaw na lahat. What would be the best encouragement sa kanila or best way to motivate them while putting in thought yung gasto sa vaccine? Ang gusto ko unang masagot, bakit ayaw? Kasi maraming reason eh. Baka akala nila masama yung vaccine sa katawan nila, baka hindi nila ka kailangan. So I would address the reason. So there are many reasons. One of the most common reasons is misinformation or lack of information. So I would explain to them, ano ba yung bakuna? Just like what we're doing now. Ayun po. Thank you, Doc. And we have here another question. 
from Joby Banaag. Doc, could you please explain what it means to be immunocompetent? Well, immunocompetent simply means your immune system is functioning normally. So, for example, nagkasakit ka ng influenza. After a few days, magaling ka na. That means your body was able to take care of the disease. No? Patayin yung virus, so to speak. And that is the work of your immune system. Yung kabaliktaran, immune compromised, uh, you find it hard to deal with infections or yung mga infection na hindi dapat nakakapasok sa katawan mo or naka, hindi dapat nakakapasok sa isang taong immune competent ay nakakapasok sa iyo so that's immune compromised yon so kung nagkasakit po kayo lately gumaling kayo you are probably immune competent ayun all right sir Jove thank you so much for your question from Sir Devine Santos, Doc, you mentioned misinformation. Ano pong credible sources for information on vaccine nowadays? You have recommendations po? Okay. Uh, well, first, sabihin muna natin yung hindi credible. Siguro alam mo naman natin, no? Facebook, group chats, or kung ano man yung mga pinu-forward sa inyo. Whether it's uh, credible or not, whether it's true or not, para sa akin, don't mind that anymore. Just go straight to the official sources. Ano ba yung official sources natin? The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the WHO, and our very own DOH. And of course, do not forget, you have your own doctor to ask. So kahit ilimit mo na lang sa apat na yon yung source of information mo. Kasi with other sources, baka kailangan mo pang mag-verify. Ayun po. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Sir Devine. From Dr. Walter, CDC, World Health, World Health Organization, and DOH. Thank you, Dr. Walter, for adding up. And I have here another question, Doc. From Sir Jake, who should get the new Muko vaccine? Well, una una, yung mga young and old, pangalawa, yung mga may comorbidities, pangatlo, yung mga immune compromised, and pangapat, tayong lahat po starting at the age of six weeks, anim na linggo. Yan po yung pinakamaaga na pwedeng magpabakuna, yung isang baby. Kasi lahat tayo pwede naman magkasakit or at the very least, pwede tayong manghawa. I, I failed to mention in the lecture, there is a carrier state sa streptococcus pneumoniae. Ibig sabihin, yung isang tao, wala siyang simptomas pero pwedeng nakatira lang sa kanyang katawan, uh, particularly sa nose or throat, yung streptococcus pneumonia. So walang sakit, walang symptoms, pero pwedeng manghawa or magkalat ng sakit. Especially, yung mga carrier na to, especially true ito sa mga maliliit na bata. So that's another thing that we want to uh, be reminded of or know when it comes to vaccination. Kasi vaccines can take care of that carrier state. Right. You hear it right, guys. You might be a courier. So don't be in doubt. If you want to be vaccinated, get your vaccination shot now. From Dr. Walter, sir, good morning. Sir, what can you say po regarding health practitioners na nagpapa-booster po more than the recommended number of booster po? Um, I cannot be certain kung ano yung vaccine or ano yung reasons, pero I would just say na yung I showed you the the updated recommendations. Uh, yan po yung na update. Uh, sorry, yan po yung updated as of now. That's what we use. So um, uh, it's best if we follow that. Ayon po. Medyo mahirap sa kuting yung tanong na yan. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, back to you. Yeah, Doc, I got it. One dose of PCV-13 should be given apart, no, Doc, from PCV-23. Right? And then I have here the next question, Doc. When is pneumococcal vaccine recommended by Ms. Jaysa? When? Yes. Uh, well, as I have mentioned, it's 
it's it, you can have it anytime no hindi ito seasonal any time of the year you can have it any age you can have it starting at the age of six weeks and you you should have it especially if you fall into the high risk category na minention natin kanina ulitin ko lang po yung young and old people with comorbidity people who are even compromised dagdag natin yung smokers alcoholics yung mga yun or if you have any condition in your body na especially kung respiratory like asthma or COPD yung mga yan If you have any questions, type in your questions, guys. You have all the chance to clarify over what ifs. Come on, type your questions. And another question from Wiley Franco. Who might not be able to get the vaccine scope? The vaccine will not be given to you if you are pregnant. Or... In children kasi na less than two multiple doses, so may iba, two, three, or four doses. Pag nag-react ka doon sa previous dose na severe reaction, severe allergic reaction, you'll not, you'll not be given the next dose. So aside from that, um, there are no other absolute contraindications to getting vaccinated. Well, of course, sorry, um, di ka rin mababakunahan kung nagpa-COVID vaccine ka in the less than two weeks ago or yung, 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 yung say PPSV23 or PCV13 depende kung ano yung sa'yo ay less than one year ago yung mga yun yung mga interval lang Alright, thank you Doc and another question from Mountie How long does pneumococcal vaccine last? Uh, as we mentioned if you complete your vaccination in the in the sequence recommended in the schedule that we discussed kanina hindi mo na kailangan magpabakuna ulit so yun na yun all right any other questions any other questions from Stefano Miguel doc what if i already got the pdc 13 and more than a year after I did not receive the PPV23, will I go back to PVC3? It's okay po. Hindi mo kailangan umulit. You just receive kung ano yung kulang. So, you don't need to restart. Tuloy-tuloy lang po. Alright. Thank you, Doc. I think we got all the questions. Thank you so much, Dr. Lembel, for sharing your knowledge with us regarding the vaccination. If you find that the discussion is very knowledgeable and if, you, if we answer already on your what ifs, type thank you, Doc, in our chat box. Type thank you, Doc, the chat box, guys. All right. Thank you so much, Doc. So as we approach the end of the program, let me announce the winners for our previous game. Are you excited, guys? All right, stand by for our for our winners of the game. So while waiting, as we approach the end, let me. Acknowledge and thank our sponsors. Thank you, Doc Walter. So we would like to acknowledge and thank Pfizer Metro Angeles Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated, Clark Investors and Locators Association, and thank you emerge without them this event would not be possible and of course to our audience for their warm interest and presence with that let's give ourselves a round of virtual applause congratulations guys and thank you all for participating all right for announcement and contact details for interest Message us through MedC or contact our customer service at 045-300-8888, local 8 or 0916 
0695536. For Pfizer, kindly message through the, their first Facebook page for inquiries, www.facebook.com slash PfizerPH or www.facebook.com slash PfizerVaccinesPH. And you can visit YouTube channel, YouTube a shot for everyone. All right, we will announce the winners and how to claim the prizes. All right, before the end of the program, I would like to announce the three lucky winners. All right, drum roll. <laughs> Winner number one, Sir Divine Santos. Winner number two, Dr. Walter Castellejos. And winner number three, Beyond Infinity Connection representative. All right, you can claim your prizes by visiting the Medical City Clark Information Desk and present two valid ID. All right. Congratulations again, guys. So we will repeat our um, acknowledgement to our sponsors. For Pfizer, kindly message through their Facebook page for inquiries www.facebook.com slash PhizerPH or www.facebook.com slash PhizerVaccinesPH and you can visit their YouTube channel, A Shot for Everyone. Again, congratulations everyone. Thank you so much for attending our webinar for today. That ends. Our event, we are very grateful for having a successful program and your participation and support is very much appreciated. Once again, this is Sarah Marenia Pendon. See you in our next webinar. Have a great day! Thank you, everyone!